All right, it cut off. Let me switch that around back on me now. All right. But as I was saying, all you fucking two thirds, you know what I'm saying? You mocking the stock command of the Lord, all right? For precept. This is Ecclesiastes 27 and 27. It says, He that worketh mischief, it shall fall upon him, and he shall not know whence it cometh. Verse 28. Ecclesiastes 27 and 28. It says, Mockery and reproach are from the proud. But vengeance as a lion shall lie and wait for them. They that rejoice at the fall of the righteous shall be taken in the, in the snare, and anguish shall consume them before they die. All right. So, you know what I'm saying? Vengeance as a lion is waiting for you fucking two-thirds, all right? And you're going to be in anguish before you die. All right? Meaning you're going to be in a sad, pitiful, fucked up state. You're going to know everything that you did to the men of the Lord, all right? You're going to be paid back for it, all right? The Most High is going to put you in remembrance in that day, all right? For everything that you said against his men, all right? For everything that you said against his men, the Most High is going to put you in remembrance for all of your wickedness, all right? And there's nothing you're going to be able to do about it, all right? You're going to cry out to the Most High, you're by some out shy. He's going to laugh at you, all right? He's going to laugh at you. He's going to mock you. He's going to tell you the same thing you told his men, the same way you slapped down the men of the Lord's hand, which was actually, which was you actually slapping down the hand of the Most High. The Most High is going to slap down your hand, all right? The same exact way, all right? He's going to pay you back for all of your wickedness, all right? Everything that you put out is going to be repaid and recompensed unto you, all right? And we can't wait to see it, all right? Get another precept. Alright. Dealing with these wicked ass two thirds. This is Jeremiah 4 and 22. It says, For my people is foolish. They have not known me. They are sight as children, and they have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. Alright. So the most I just call two thirds of his people retards, all right? Slow of mind as individuals, all right? He also told them they was fucking wicked because he speaks through his prophets, all right? So the most I let you know that two, you two thirds are fucking dumb ass children. Let's go to Jeremiah 5 26. It says, you got the slave patrol from the ride by. Hold on, let me, let me pause this right quick and I'm gonna let y'all see the slave patrol. They finna ride by when if they gonna say something. So lock you one second. All right, I'm back. So as I told y'all, he saw slave patrol finna pull up, all right? I don't know if they finna come over here or if they finna keep going. But either way, you know what I'm saying? We finna, we finna keep bringing it out. All right, as I said, it's Jeremiah 5 and 26. It says, for among my people are found wicked men. They lay wait as he that set a snare, they set a trap, they catch men. Verse 27, as a cage is full of birds, so are their houses full of deceit. Therefore, they are become great and waxing rich. They are waxing fat, they shine, yeah. They overpass the deeds of the wicked. All right, so two thirds of you Israelites are right there in line with Esau and your wickedness, all right? Some of you fuckers have even surpassed this devil in wickedness, all right? You, 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 you surpassed the barrels of wickedness, all right? Check out Esau. I'm gonna bust the U with baby. See if this devil got some shit to say. I'm sure he's fucking you know, he's fucking with the pussy. Yeah. All right. Anyway. Yeah. So as I was saying, two thirds of you, of you Jake, you know what I'm saying? You can teach Esau a thing or two about fucking being wicked. All right, that's why the Most High is gonna put you down with you, so, all right. But yeah, let me flip this back around on me right, right quick. All right, we getting ready to close out here in a second. Let me flip this around. All right, it's back on me now. So yeah, so let me get some more judgment on this damn devil. Let's go to Jeremiah 49. We're going to start at verse 7. This is Jeremiah 49 and 7. It says, Concerning Edom, thus saith the Most High Yahweh of hosts, is wisdom no more in teeming? Is counsel perished from the prudent? Is their wisdom vanished? Flee ye turn back, 
dwell deep, O inhabitants of the Dan. For I will bring the calamity of Esau upon him, the time I will visit him. All right, verse 9. If grape gatherers come to thee, would they not leave some gleaning grapes? If thieves by night, they will destroy it till they have not enough, till they have enough. So like it. But I have made Esau bare. I have uncovered his secret places, and he shall not be able to hide himself. He his seed is spoiled and his brethren and his neighbors, and he is not. Alright. And that's the same thing Cain said, alright, when the when the most high uh took his belly and he said, I'm a vagabond in the earth. Alright, he tried to hide himself, but he wasn't able to. The same way Esau is no longer able to hide himself in this world, alright. He was able to hide himself by putting the spiritual identity of the red man on somebody else and excluding Esau and giving all the nations on the planet American uh well let me see um he gave them all names that he came up with all right he took everybody's biblical identity away minus the Jews all right and gave everybody else uh, a man-made identity all right that's why it says the earth is given into the hand of the wicked in Job 9 and 24 because Esau is in rulership so what this motherfucker says goes but he gets his power from you. How about you? How was shot? All right. So that's why you know what I'm saying Esau is no longer he's no longer able to hide himself now because the men of the Lord have been risen up through you. How about you? was shot. We've called him out for who he is. We've let him know he's not white. He's red. We've let him know that he's the wickedness. All right. We've let him know that there's no way for him to be the men of the Lord because if he was the man, if, if his nation of people were the men of the Lord, you know what I'm saying? When did Esau go down? All right, who is Esau? You know what I'm saying? If Esau is the Jews and it's Jacob as he says he is, then who the fuck was Esau? And when did he go down? The scriptures say Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that follow it. So if Esau is, if Esau is already ruled and went down, then that means Yahweh Shai and King David should be here. All right, the, the scriptures say Yahweh Shai and King David was going to be back. When the, when the nation went back into Israel. But Yahweh Shai ain't here. King David ain't here. At least, you know what I'm saying? They here, but they not they not Edomites, you know what I'm saying? Well, it just goes to show that Esau is the damn devil, you know what I'm saying? He's unable to hide himself, all right? Let's go down to verse 12. It says, For thus saith the Most High Yahweh, Behold, they whose judgment was not to drink of the cup have assuredly drunk it. All right. And, and art thou he that shall altogether go unpunished, thou shalt not go unpunished, but thou shalt surely drink it, drink of it. All right, and that cup that it's talking about is lamentations, mournings, and woe, all right? Destruction, slavery, you know what I'm saying? All of that shit is coming upon you heathen, you know what I'm saying? And primarily you, Esau. All right, verse 13, it says, For I have sworn by myself, said the Most High Yahweh, that Basra shall become a desolation, a reproach, a waste, and a curse. And all the cities thereof shall be perpetual waste. Alright. And Basra, modern day Basra, is America, alright? The same way Jerusalem is a people before it's a place, Basra is a people before it's a place, alright? And, and, and that's another way of it's just a cold word for saying Esau, alright? You know what I'm saying? Basra, Mount Seir, uh, the wicked, you know what I'm saying? All of these are cold words for Esau Edom, all right? The so-called white man, which he is not white, he is dead. I mean, he is red, and he is dead, all right? Because to look like that is dead, all right? It is a sin to look that way, all right? Yeah, so, all right, they out here doing some, uh, some maintenance. So if you out here, hear the, hear the motor, you know what I'm saying? That's just his car keeping up the ground's work, all right? He said, what's up, what's up, what's up? Anyway, uh, let's go down to verse 14. It says, I have heard a rumor from the Most High Yahweh, an ambassador is sent unto the heathen, saying, Gather ye together and come against her and rise up to the battle. But lo, I will make thee small among the heathen and despised among men. All right, now Esau, you're definitely despised among men. Everybody hates you, red devils, all right? Even the fucking heathen hates you. All right, verse 16, it says, Thy terribleness had deceived thee, and the pride of thine heart, O thou that dwellest in the cliffs of the rock, that holdest the height of the hill, though thou shouldest make thy nest as high as the eagle, I will bring thee down from thence, saith the Most High Yahweh. Also, Edom shall be a destination, 
everyone that goeth by it shall be astonished, and shall hiss at all the plagues thereof. As in the overthrow of Sodom and Gomorrah and the neighboring cities thereof, said the Most High Yahweh, no man shall abide there, neither shall son of man dwell in it. All right, and that's talking about America, okay? It says, and also Edom shall be a desolation. Everyone that goeth by it shall be astonished and shall hiss at all the plagues thereof. So all of these plagues that were, that were put on ancient Egypt is going to be put on spiritual Egypt, all right, which is America, all right, uh, the daughter, uh, the daughter of uh, Babylon, all right, mystery Babylon, all right, the mother of harlots, all right, and that's also in Deuteronomy 28, all right, uh, I think it's verse, I want to say it's 50 when it says the Lord is going to bring the plagues of Egypt and he's going to make them even greater, all right, let me get it right quick. Deuteronomy 28, I think it's 59, yeah, it's 59, this is Deuteronomy 28, oh, in 59, it says, then the Most High Yahweh will make thy plagues wonderful. And the plagues of thy seed, even great plagues, and of long continuance, and sore sickness, and of long continuance. Moreover, he will bring upon thee all the diseases of Egypt, which thou wast afraid of, and they shall cleave unto thee. Also every sickness and every plague which is not written in the book of this law, them will the Most High Yahweh will bring upon thee until thou be destroyed. All right, so all of you people who aren't of the house of David, you know what I'm saying? You're gonna die the death of a heathen. All right, whether you are Israelite or or a heathen. All right, you're gonna die the death of a heathen if you're not of the house of David. All right, you're gonna be you're gonna meet uh, the famine, the sword, and all of that. Let me get Ecclesiastes. Uh, what is it? I think it's 39. All right, yeah, this is Ecclesiastes 39. All right, we're going to start at verse. We're going to start at verse 29. It says, fire and hell and famine and death. All these were created for vengeance. Teeth of wild beasts and scorpions and serpents and the sword punishing the wicked to destruction. All right. So those are the forms of death that were created for you fucking hard-headed ass two-thirds and you heathen. All right, it said teeth of wild beasts. So you're going to be getting mauled to death by these animals that's in these lions. I mean, I'm slacky by these animals that's in these lions. <laughs> you're going to be getting mauled to death by these animals that's in these zoos, all right? Because Esau has put the animals into slavery, all right? And when, when all hell go breaks loose, when the shit hits the fan, these, these animals are going to be released. The same way this nigga is releasing these prisoners, all right, from these prisons, the same way these animals are going to be released from these zoos, all right? The Most High is going to put the spirit on you to do it. And then he's going to put the spirit on these animals to destroy, you know what I'm saying? Anybody that ain't of the Most High's chosen. Excuse me, I'm sorry about that. I mean, the belt into the camera, all right? The priest after that, let's also go to Job chapter 5, all right? Because, you know what I'm saying, Leviathan is going to be out soon as well, all right? We ain't been hitting on that too much lately. But, you know what I'm saying, Leviathan is going to be released on you people as well, all right? He's terrible to look at, baby. He's going to fuck you up, all right? This is Job chapter 5. We're going to start at verse 19. It says, He shall deliver thee in six troubles. Yeah, in seven, there shall no evil touch thee. In famine, he shall redeem thee from death, as we just said, you know what I'm saying, a while ago in Ecclesiastes 39. It says, In war, from the power of the sword. Thou shalt be hid from the scourge of the tongue, neither shalt thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh. At destruction and famine thou shalt laugh, neither shalt thou be afraid of the beast of the earth. For thou shalt be in league with the stones of the field, and the beast of the field shall be at peace with thee. All right, And thou shalt know that thy tabernacle shall be in peace, and thou shalt visit the habitation, and thou shalt not sin. All right, so if, if, if it says, uh, thou shalt be in, in league with the stones of the field, and the beast of the feet, and the beast of the field shall be at peace with thee. That's for the elect. 
So if you ain't of the elect, that means the beast of the field ain't gonna be at peace with you, meaning you're gonna be judged by the beast, by the teeth of wild beast, all right? All of that, you know what I'm saying? Leviathan is gonna have his way with you people. You know what I'm saying? All these mountain lions are gonna have their way with you people. All these animals you've locked up in these zoos and put into slavery are gonna have their ways with you people. You know what I'm saying? The elephants, you know what I'm saying? The lions, the tigers, the bears. You know what I'm saying? The monkeys, the chimpanzees, the, the apes, gorillas. You know what I'm saying? The horses, every everything that you damn devils have put your hands on and destroyed. You know what I'm saying? Physically and mentally, you know what I'm saying? It, it's going to destroy you, all right? And that's how the Most High is, is, is getting down, all right? Hell, even the trees are going to rejoice when this devil goes down. The scriptures say, the trees are going to even say, since this man went down, no feller has come up against us, all right? Because Esau is an enemy to the earth, just the natural earth. He's an enemy to anything that the Most High, Yahweh Bashamah was shy, and his men created, all right? Everything that was created and that was beautified on the earth, Esau fucking destroyed, all right? And if, and if, we, and if the Most High left this devil in power long enough, he'd destroy his own fucking self because that's all he is, all right? He's a fucking walking abomination, all right? He looks like death, you know what I'm saying? He pushes out death, all right? Because he is his death, all right? And the Most High Yahweh is about to pull his whole card and put that damn devil down where he's where he supposed to be, you know what I'm saying? And that's under the feet of the elect, all right? All of you fucking people, you are beneath us, all right? You people ain't shit, but decrepit ass beings, all right? Wicked ass spirits living in vessels that, that are meant to be destroyed, all right? Natural brute beasts meant to be taken, all right? We can't wait until the most high, how about some outside? Works that wonderful work, you know what I'm saying? X you wicked ass motherfuckers out, all right? Let's go to Isaiah chapter two now. And I know I'm jumping all over the place, but you know what I'm saying, Lord willing to be edifying. I hadn't been out here in a couple of weeks. I had a lot of bullshit going on in Esau's punk ass world, but you know what I'm saying? I'm through with that. All right. This is uh, Isaiah chapter 2, starting at verse 1. It says, The word that Isaiah the son of Amos did, the word of Isaiah, the word of Isaiah the son of Amos saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem. Verse 2. And it shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of the Most High Yahweh's house shall be established in the top of the mountains, and shall be exalted above the hills, and all nations shall flow into it. All right. And many people shall go and say, Come ye, and let us go up to the mountain of the Most High Yahweh, to the house of the power of Jacob. And he will teach us of his ways, and we will walk in his path. For out of Zion shall go forth the law, and the word of the Most High Yahweh from Jerusalem. All right, so if these E's that's over there in that land right now were the people of that land, you know what I'm saying? Why ain't why ain't the law coming forth out of, out of Israel? Why is Israel getting ready to be destroyed the same way America is being is getting ready to be destroyed? All right, why is the Most High number you damn devil to the sword the same way he numbered this bitch, this whore that sits the pond meaning water to the sword, as well as these fucking two thirds? You know what I'm saying? All of y'all have been numbered to the sword. All right. Verse four, verse 4 says, And he shall judge among the nations, and shall rebuke many people. And they shall beat their swords into plowshares, and their spears into pruning hooks. Nations shall not lift up nation. I mean, nations shall not lift up sword against nation. Neither shall they learn war anymore. O house of Jacob, come ye and let us walk in the house of the Most High Yahweh, in the light of the Most High Yahweh. All right. So it said, when, when Yahweh Bashamah was shy, people went back to their land. Nations was not going to learn war no more. All right. So what's getting ready to happen right now? Why is America getting ready to be destroyed in World War III? All right. If those fakes that are in that land are the right people of that land. All right. That's the synagogue of Satan over there. As the scriptures say, I know thy works and tribulations, and I know thy blasphemies of them that say they are Jews in the night, which do lie. But are the synagogue of Satan. All right. I was openly paraphrasing, but just letting you know. Those fakes over there is the synagogue of Satan. All right. Let me get that. Let me pull that scripture out. I'm going to paraphrase it. All right. This is Revelation chapter 2. No, 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 no. This is 
Revelations chapter, let me see. This is Revelations 3 and 9. It says, Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet and to know that I have loved thee. All right. But the one I'm looking for is uh, Revelations 2 and 9. All right. It says, I know thy works in tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. And I know the blasphemy of them who say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. All right, so that's what them fakes in their land are right there. That's the house of Satan, all right? Amalek, the chief house of Esau, all right? And they are the synagogue of Satan, all right? They ain't the people of that land, all right? That's why that land is going to be destroyed as well as America. They over there having homosexual parades in that land right now, all right? So they're going to be destroyed as well as you fucking American. Edomites are going to be destroyed, all right? This is Numbers chapter 35 and 33. It says, So ye shall not pollute the land wherein ye are, for blood that defileth the land, and the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein, but by the blood of him that shed it. All right, so how did you fucking ease get this country? You fucking stole it. All right, you rape, rob, murder, pillage, kill, and, and destroyed and took this country by violence, all right, from the Native Americans, which are Israelites. All right, and the only way this, 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 this land can be cleansed is by your blood, all right? That's why the Most High is gonna melt you and your blood is gonna be on the ground, all right? Your stink is gonna uh, come up out of your carcasses, all right? The Most High is gonna melt you damn devils right here in spiritual Sodom and Egypt, all right? Let me flip this around right quick. All right, I had to flip that around right quick because all these E's is coming by. I just wanna see if any of them gonna scream some shit out the window. They might get bold, we gonna see. We finna get ready to close out though. Let's go to Revelation. and 25 and then we're gonna go to 13. Close it out in there. So pussy ass knees. They big shit some days. Yes, they fucking scared today. <laughs> anyway, it's all the spirit. Through the spirit and power of y'all by some out shot. Alright. So continuing on. This is Revelation chapter 2 and 25. It says, but that which ye have hold but that which ye have already hold fast till I come. And he that overcometh and keepeth my work to the end, to him will I give power over the nations. Hold on, let me get 27. And he shall rule there with a rod of iron, as the vessels of part of shall they be broken to shivers, even as I have received of my father. All right, so that means somebody's going into slavery, right? They said, hold fast until he come, and you're going to rule over the nations with a rod of iron. All right, that means somebody's going into fucking captivity, and guess who's going into captivity? Who's going into captivity? All you fucking nations, all right? If you ain't a so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American through the seed of your father, <clears throat> get ready to go into slavery, all right? This is Revelation chapter 13. Let's start at verse 9. It says, if any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. All right, and we know who the saints are. Those are the Israelites. All right, we proved that. We're gonna close out with Joel chapter three, verse sixteen, and prove that the Israelites are the saints. All right, this is Joel three and sixteen. It says, "The Most High Yahweh also shall roar out of Zion and utter his voice from Jerusalem, and the heavens and earth shall shake, but the Most High Yahweh." will be the hope of his people and the strength of the children of Israel. So those are who your saints are, all right? He's only the hope and the strength of the power and of the Israelites, all right, and none else. And on this side, the house of David, all right? As it says in Amos 9 and verse 8, the eyes of the Lord are, beho are behold are upon the sinful kingdom, and he's going to destroy it, but he's not going to utterly destroy the house of Jacob. All the sinners of the Most High shall die by the sword. And who is the sword? Esau. That's why King David said, deliver me from the wicked, which is thy sword, all right? <clears throat> because Esau is the whipping stick of the Most High. The same way the Assyrian was the rod of the Most High's anger, Esau Edom is the rod of the Most High's anger on, through this captivity, all right? So we're going to close out with that. This 
uh, like as I said earlier, you know what I'm saying, this devil, he has one more major prophecy that he has to get pushed out before the end come. And that's the RFID microchip being implemented and forced upon the people. Mandatory vaccines, you know what I'm saying, is going to have a part to play with that as well. So, you know what I'm saying, it will behoove you not to take any vaccines and just to put your trust in the most high you have by and shot. And definitely don't take no fucking microchip. Fuck his vaccine. Fuck this devil vaccine and his fucking microchip, all right? So we're going to close out with that. Give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach and well learn this truth. Peace and salutations to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai's elect, Quam Yasharala, and Wild Bible Ball. Shalom.